सब्सक्राइब नाउ एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन नेवर मिस एन अपडेट हेलो दिस वीडियो विल प्रोवाइड यू अ स्टंजा वाइज समरी ऑफ द पोएम फर्न हिल रिटन बाय डैलन थॉमस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स हैव अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू द पोएम डैलन थॉमस रोट हिज पोएम फर्न हिल इन 1945 drawing from his childhood experiences at his aunt's farm in wales the poem is full of beautiful language and vivid descriptions capturing the excitement and joy of playing outside as a child and feeling connected to nature it celebrates the wonder and innocence of childhood while also acknowledging the sadness of growing up the poem is written in six stanzas containing nine lines each let us now look at the summary of the poem stanza first in the first stanza the speaker says that when he was young he used to relax under the apple trees near his happy house he was very happy like when you see the bright green grass or the stars at night he felt like time let him enjoy life play and explore he was very popular in the town and felt like a king among the apple orchards It was like he made the trees spread flowers and grass wherever he went. The apples on the ground looked like a shiny river when the wind blew them around. Summary of stanza 2. In the second stanza, the speaker says when he was young he had no worries but lots of fun. He was famous around the farm and loved singing everywhere because it felt like home. He felt like he was living his best life. like a hunter or shepherd enjoying the sunshine and playing his trumpet the cows would sing along and foxes on the nearby hill would bark on the sabbath everything seemed peaceful and holy even the streams summary of stanza 3 the speaker spent the whole day running around there were tall stacks of hay on the farm as high as the house the smoke from the chimneys made a beautiful song in the air The days were full of fresh air and play with green grass and a warm fire. At night under the stars he didn't just fall asleep he felt like he was riding to sleep. Owls flew around making the farm feel magical. At night he could hear night jars birds that only come out at night near the horse stables. The moonlight made the horses hair shine before they disappeared into the darkness. Summary of stanza 4 And when the speaker would wake up the form seemed to come alive again like a person covered in morning dew with a rooster on his shoulder everything was glowing just like Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden the sky returned and the sun rose again as if it were the first day of creation it was like the moment when god made the first light over the spinning earth the horses would have been amazed stepping out of their green stables full of their neighing into the warmth of the fields where everything seemed to be praising god summary of stanza 5 in this stanza the speaker says that he was also famous among the foxes and the pheasants near the happy house under the newly formed clouds his heart was filled with happiness in the light of the sun that rose again and again he ran without a care all his desires running with him between the tall stacks of hay he didn't care at all as he went about his tasks which were as blue as the sky time with all its beautiful music doesn't allow people to have very many childhood songs soon children inexperienced and full of joy have to follow time out of their innocence summary of stanza 6 the speaker didn't care when he was innocent as a lamb Time would lead him to the attic that was full of swallows guiding him by his hand shadow all in the light of the moon that seemed to keep rising and rising and he didn't care that as he went to sleep he would hear him flying over the fields when he woke up the farm would be gone and there would be no more children when he was young and happy in the short childhood that he was granted time embraced him He was still young and inexperienced but already dying even though he was locked in chains singing like the sea